Okay, this is Mr. Ridley's RMT revision, and this is an exam question focus. And once again, this is AQA paper, June 2014, question 8, but it could be any of the exam boards, and it's something that comes up in a lot of papers. So when we're looking at quality control, really we're looking at flow charts. Flow charts are important as they offer an improvement of over Gantt charts in that they can show quality control decisions in planning and makings, or when planning for making. Now, this chart is a, shows the process for checking a lamp that's not working. So we've got a start here, a terminator, and then if we were going to check this lamp, we might the questions we might ask or the decisions we might make are, is the lamp plugged in? If it's not, we plug in the lamp. If it, if it is plugged in, yes. Is the bulb burned out? Ye answer yes, replace the bulb. No repair lamp, and you you could go down and increase this chart. This is a quite a simple chart, but this is basically a flow chart for a process. The flow charts in the exam will use these three set shapes. They will use this shape for terminator for start and finish. They will use a square for process and or a rectangle for process and they will use this diamond shape for decision and we'll see that later on when we look at the exam paper or the exam question. In this question they'd actually given you those shapes but those you need to know. The decision is the most important of the quality control um, shapes which is a diamond and this is important because it allows you to show that some of your quality control decisions were made during the planning of your project or in the case of the, the exam question, during vacuum forming. So the reason for using flycharts is to show this quality control. OK, this is Mr Ridley's RMT revision, and we're looking at an AQA paper, or a question here, from June 2014. And this question is on flow diagrams and vacuum forming. So the question is, it says about quality control, but it is flow diagrams. It says 10 minutes, uh, it gives us a picture of a coffee cup with a um, vacuum form top or coffee cup lid. And it says include the following symbols. So we've got terminator, process and decision. And use these symbols. And what it wants you to do is, is complete this flow diagram. Now, this is quite a common question or, or a flow diagram is often in there so it's quite a favourite for the exam so we'll look at it, we'll just go through the answer on this. So we're looking at vacuum forming so it's just really the stages. Now the marks you're going to get are, you're going to get uh, one mark for five correct stages, you're going to get two marks for the correct use of process boxes and a mark for um, correct use of decision box, flow arrows and a return arrow, so using those. So let's just quickly go through this. So First of all, we need to use the flow arrows. So we just draw ourselves a flow arrow there. And the, we've got the stages. So the stages are going to be start. Then first stage, place the former mould on the platen. So that's putting the mould in. Um, next one, put another box here. And it is clamping plastic sheet. So clamp plastic. Sheet to back former. Then the next one, obviously, that's the heating. So another flow arrow here, another process, keep them the same size, and this process is heat plastic sheet. Obviously you'll be turning on the heat and then now we're coming up and we've got our flow arrow down here and now we've got a decision and the decision here is we use the diamond shape for the decision and the decision here is is the plastic hot enough. And obviously here, to gain an extra mark here for the um, 
flow arrows or the return arrow, we need to say no. So no, obviously, if it's not hot enough, then there would be a return arrow here in the flow diagram going us to signify that we continue to heat the plastic sheet. Um, so there it is, and of course then down here we've got a yes, and the next one would be another process, and that's raise platen. The next process is here, they're quite small these boxes. Turn on vacuum. Move that up a bit, so you can see. Turn on vacuum uh, to cool. You notice here it uses the word plastic because obviously you could use ABS, you could use hips, you could almost use acrylic. So the, it's using the generic term there. Allow to cool. Um, now down here we've got the last one. This is slightly bigger, a slightly bigger one here, um, and that's remove from mold. Trim off plastic or trim off egg plastic. And last of all, down the bottom here, we need to add a terminator, and that's finish. And our terminator is there. So there it is. There's our flow diagram, and we'll, that's 10 marks. We've got um, 5 marks for correct stages, 2 marks for correct use of process boxes, 1 mark for flow arrows, 1 mark for the correct use of decision box, and 1 mark for our return arrow. So there's our 10 marks, and that's the flow diagram question.